face the final frontier. Space exploration is very interesting, dangerous, and expensive. But what happens to the equipment once we're done doing our experiments? Well, sometimes they end up in museums, and sometimes they end up in an alley. This is the story of the University of Chicago's cosmic ray detectors. In the 1980s, physicists at the University of Chicago would produce the Chicago Egg, a 12-foot tall, 2.5 ton cosmic ray detector that would fly on the Space Shuttle Challenger in the year 1985. The Chicago Egg would be the largest piece of equipment to ever fly on a space shuttle. During its maiden flight, there were small problems with the space shuttle, forcing it to orbit at a lower altitude than planned. This would result in disrupting several scientific experiments, however, not the experiments done with the cosmic ray detector. At a higher orbit, there is a significant increase in radiation, which can overload the sensors of the cosmic ray detector. But at a lower altitude, there's less radiation, so the sensors work far better. The light sensors are designed to detect and provide computer readouts on the makeup of cosmic rays. The cosmic ray detector provided incredibly high quality results, and it would help us understand the makeup of cosmic rays. That data has helped us understand what we know about cosmic rays today. According to space.com, cosmic rays are, quote, atom fragments that rain down on the Earth from outside of the solar system. They blaze at the speed of light and have been blamed for electronics problems in satellites and other machinery. In 2017, the Pierre Auger Observatory in Argentina made a massive discovery involving cosmic rays. They studied the trajectories of over 30,000 cosmic particles as they entered the Earth's atmosphere. They discovered that the frequency of cosmic rays changes, which will help scientists find their origin. The Chicago egg now sits in a giant container next to the two decaying white objects. These white objects are also cosmic ray detectors. After the Challenger explosion, the space shuttle fleet was grounded and scientists switched to using a different type of cosmic ray detector that used balloons in order to skirt the upper atmosphere. These two objects are remnants of those experiments. The Chicago Egg and the Cosmic Ray Detectors are a very important part of Chicago's scientific history and will never be forgotten.
It kind of worked. Yeah, it actually did for a few steps. Yeah, but then you lost your chakra, so.